So there are also some string functions that we should explore. Uh, one of these functions is the len function to get the string length. Um, so since there's characters you can't access outside of the string, it's very nice to know what the last index for the string uh, range would be. So knowing uh, the length can prevent this mistake. Using len of str can get you to the length of that string. So for example, if we have a string yes and we print the len of that string, we should get four because there's y, e, s and a space at the end. So the spaces actually count toward the length of the string. Be careful with that. Let's try it. So if I want to uh, print the len of a string, then I could do that quite simply here. Uh, so we're just gonna get print len of yes, for example, and it gets you four. Uh, remember that the length uh, indicates how many characters that are inside the string. So a length zero string will have zero characters and there is no character at index zero. The last character is always at len minus one, not len. So minus one is very important uh, to note. Now, if you want to access the last character inside a string, you don't need to use len minus one. You can simply use the minus one index as we have seen previously. There is also um, the index operation which instead of uh, providing you with the character at a specific index searches for the index of a character inside a string. So this method returns a number which is the index of this character or substring. Let's have a look. So for example, uh, if I have yes dot index and then I provide it with space, I should get the index of the space as long as I use it on a string. There we go. So the index inside yes of this space. What if I wrote s? Then the index is two because that substring starts at index two. Now what if I put something that doesn't exist? I get substring not found, value error. Now let's see a real example. Um, for example, I have email addresses and I ask for the email address of a user and then uh, I want to know what the username and the host is for this user. I can use the index function to get the proper index and then separate the string into two substrings. So the solution, ask the user to input the email address, use the index to get the at symbol use the uh, indices to get a substring, the beginning before the at symbol, and then whatever's after the at symbol. Email is equal to input. Enter your email address. And then we will use the email.index to get the at symbol index. So we're gonna say at index is equal to, and we're gonna state email.index, and we're gonna place the at symbol inside this index. And we're trusting that the user is actually going to input the at symbol. And then we will separate this into user or rather account is equal to, and we are going to say email, and it's going to be the part of the email before the at symbol, right? So we use the default start, and we use the at index as the end, and host is equal to email, and we use the at index, to start 
we actually don't want to start at the at index we start at at index plus one and go all the way to the end so we write the colon but don't provide an ending location and finally we should print the result in an f string so f um, and then we can provide uh, all of the data so for example uh, email has the uh, account name account on the host host okay let's try that enter your email address bob at doe dot com so bob at do dot com whoops and I put an e here at the end has account name bob on the host do dot com great so an example of uh, solving this in the slides input your email address then there's account which gets the start part host which gets the end part and you can print out the results in strings there are also case methods we can check whether something is all uppercase using is upper to check if all the letters of a string are uppercase it can return uh, true or false boolean values is lower will check if all the letters in a string are lowercase it also returns true or false so that can be very handy if you need to check if something is uppercase or lowercase um, but you know modifying the string is usually uh, more important and so we can use the upper function to convert a string to uppercase and the lower function to convert a string to lowercase this works only with letters is upper is lower upper lower they ignore non-letter characters such as punctuation and digits so this is important because character comparison it's case sensitive uh, the letter a is not the same as the uppercase a and character comparisons uh, they're case sensitive so we need to check we need to use these checks and conversions in programming if we are going to compare strings to one another if we ask the user for data and wish to compare it with previous data we may want to convert both to lowercase or both to uppercase format for example before executing the comparison um, so uh, we can convert the user input and we can also convert the data that we got uh, let's make an example let's take some user input uh, and then you know convert it to a better uh, format right uh, in this application we want to ask a user for input and convert the first letter of the word to uppercase and the rest to lowercase so for example if we had college with this random case uh, convert it to an actual word with an uppercase letter so sanitizing the user input basically um, so uh, here's uh, how we will separate the word into two parts the first letter first and then the rest and then we're going to execute the upper on the first part and uh, execute lower on the uh, second part and join the two of these together so let's ask the user for input enter a word to be converted to correct casing we'll call that word and then we will extract two parts so first letter is equal to and I'll just uh, show that result at the end first letter is equal to word and the first letter zero and now to apply the upper function uh, this is actually a method you cannot use the function and take as a parameter the string you need to actually apply it to the string itself so we write it this way dot upper this is what we call a method it's a method of the string function of the string uh, data type the rest of the word is going to be word starting at one so the second letter all the way to the end 
and we apply the lower method to it using the dot lower notation okay if I were to try to use these as a function it would not work it would tell me that lower is undefined because it's not part of the base language it's part of the base language but only for strings I would need to proceed it with str dot to specify that lower comes from the str type but applying it as a method is more effective okay and now let's output the result so we can output the first letter and then output the rest using an f string so a word to be converted to into correct casing okay hello it gets converted to hello I want to try this again the casing gets converted great thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.